What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video. And today I wanna to preface everything that's coming in the next month. So in the next month I'm gonna be sharing exercises every day to try to help you understand, get more fluent with uh, the jazz language, bebop language, however you wanna call it navigating harmony as an improviser. Every day there'll be a new video and a PDF that you can go and download if you need to or just transcribe it and learn it however works best for you. And I wanted to preface that by saying that I don't believe that exercises and books of exercises and lines and licks and books of lines and licks are the end all be all of learning this music, of learning black American music, jazz music. I think that it's very important for every person to develop this understanding on their own through the music that they love, through the improvisers that they love, and by transcribing and learning the lines of their heroes, by playing solos and transcribing and internalizing and absorbing them. And that is how you learn to play jazz. It's not about learning this scale or that scale or anything, but all of those things can help us when we're trying to achieve freedom on our instrument. It helps us play different types of lines, different types of intervals. It helps us to get more familiar with different shapes and get, get more familiar with things that don't lay well on our instrument, for example. Um, but it all comes back every single time to playing along and trying to master the recreation of the masters, to master transcriptions, that's where you get feel, style, all of that stuff. That's where that comes from. You can end up sounding like a robot, you know, if you just play through all this stuff. So while I'm gonna offer a lot of resources here in this next month for, that are very detail oriented, that are very much a specific topic and you can take it as far as you want, you can transpose them to 12 keys, which I highly recommend because we want to get familiar in all keys. It is just a jumping off point and by no means do I think these are the best lines or the only lines or the only things to practice, they're just, they're just 25 things that I think uh, right now occurred to me to share over the next month or so, July 2020. So if you are enjoying this, please leave me a comment on this video, on all the videos as we go through. I'm really excited to share this stuff with you all. However, I really do think if you want to spend time doing this, you have to spend an equal or greater amount of time listening, absorbing the music, and transcribing the players that you love you know, I tell my students it's way better to go deep than wide. And so if you can find the four or five players that really, really speak to you and you can try and actually play just like them on your instrument and then you can branch out to other instruments, I mean, you're going to get so much farther, so much faster as a student of this music. And I hope you enjoy uh, the next month, which is going to be really fun to share all this stuff. But keep in mind, it is not the answer. It is just different ways of solving the puzzle. And uh, I hope that you'll take it and it'll inspire you to create your own lines, your own language, your own approaches to teaching this material, sharing this material, absorbing the material, and all in the service of making great music. So thanks for being here. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already. I really appreciate you all for being here and uh, we'll see you in the next video.